Good morning and welcome to Saturday. Um, unfortunately, didn't get a video done yesterday, um, mainly because I was knackered. Um, I've been on a, a course all week um, learning how to be a dyslexia assessor and um, it was just very tiring and a lot of driving. So unfortunately, I didn't get a video done yesterday. So I um, haven't really done much painting this week. I did manage to finish off a uh, French uh set of line infantry um, but I haven't finished basing them so I thought I'd do a bit of an unboxing instead because this came in the post uh, on Wednesday I believe um, so this is the Warlord Games French Old Guard Grenadiers um, it's a metal set and uh, I just thought I'd do a bit of an unboxing and um, and show you the contents so I bought this one off eBay so I have opened it and uh, it is one figure short so that's that's not Warlord's fault um, so um, I'm not going to worry too much about that. So I've got a bit of a workaround. So um, you can get this on the Warlord Games website. Um, they're in uh, campaign dress. Uh, they're not wearing long coats or overcoats. And um, it's, uh, it's the standard sort of art from uh, Warlord Games. So that's the guys on the back. So they're all in with their red epaulets. Uh, pushing forward um, uh, towards the British or the French or uh, sorry all the Russians or um, any other sort of uh, enemies that you're sort of playing against so uh, you get a bit of a uh, spiel off the um, on the back explaining that they're the they're the elite guards um, and um, they were at uh, the Battle of they were finally beaten at the Battle of Waterloo in June 1815 so um, and that's the sort of the command stand um, unfortunately these didn't come in with um, the flags either so I think I'll have to go to um, GMB uh, or flags of war to uh, to get those so um, overly not overly not not too worried about that so that's the box so in the in the in the box um, you get some blisters which is useful uh, so in the in the in the in the packs you get lots of metal um, I've not really done much with metal be fair um, so this is the the grenadiers um, quite detailed as you'd expect from all of games um, really nice um, I'm not gonna go through all of them because that would be pretty tedious but I'll go through the sort of the main the main sort of figures um, we've got a nice drummer sapper now I must remember to put the sapper in the uh, the far left or far right I can never remember I'll have to look it up um, but I think it's the far left uh, which is the elite company probably finds the right now um, but that's a sapper which is very nice um, again guardsman on the attack so pretty much the rest of them are just, are just ordinary guardsmen. Um, so I'm not going to worry too much about those. Uh, you get the, the finial to go on top of the banner, which again, oh, there was a banner. There we go. It's the Warlord Games one, which is a bit spindly, so I'll probably switch it out for a, a front rank one. And um, Commander. Again, quite nicely detailed. So he'll he'll be sort of going into the line. I think that's it for um, command. Uh, let's have a look. Let's just tip him out. And there's the standard standard bearer. So they're going to look quite nice. So as I said. I bought them off um, eBay. Um, it was a box of uh, solder scene, so I can't really complain and say, well, there's one missing. Um, and to be fair, you know, uh, by the time I'd, you know, spoken to the seller and everything else, it would have been um, probably, you know, a more hassle than it's worth. So I thought, well, what I'll do instead is I'll go into front rank and I'll pick up um, a couple of grenadiers. So I picked up this guy, which is a... Uh, Grenadier Colonel 
uh, and as normal from front rank they're very very detailed and they fit very nicely with the wall of games command so they're not they're not going to look out of out of um out of sorts at all so that that solved that problem sort of that um the other thing i thought about doing was taking off one of his grenadiers just taking them off and saying thank you very much for your service but uh, you're not going to go on to the command um i bought one of these as well from front rank which is a uh, grenadier colonel on horseback so i don't know i may use this as a as a brigade commander uh for my guard um which i think would look uh just as cool stick him on a on a base um nice figure so um we'll see how we get on with those so that's the update for today guys um i've been sort of watching and commenting on on your um videos that you're posting so um thanks for um Thanks for commenting uh, on mine, and thanks to the new subscribers. Um, enjoying what I'm seeing on the on the, on the old YouTube. So um, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully next week there'll be some more um, more figures and brigades to show you. Cheers, bye.